It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. We've got sports news. We've got animals in the news. We've got uh, a Johnny Depp update. The, you've, you've had enough, Mr. Depp? We uh, are, yes, we have. I have. And I like Johnny Depp. I'm a fan. I watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyone. It's like Roadhouse for me now. If it's on, I'm watching it. Really? Yeah, that's, oh, it's I such love a fun him. movie. Fun and like God, his, I love him. His performance in that is so fun. It's, it's so weird. cool. Keith Richards-y, yeah. kind of funky yep. rock and roll. Oh, what I like. You get Orlando Bloom. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. When I read the Johnny Depp. <laughs> Dream three-way there. Johnny. You like the <laughs> Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry. That's not the show. <laughs> uh, that's your dream three-way? Oh, I just said that. Johnny but Depp it wouldn't be Bloom. bad. Depp, Bloom, and Lee. We can go around the horn. Pat, It'd be like a pirate theme. <laughs> I mean, right in there, like Kira. Pat, your dream three-way? You want to... Uh... Um, me, me, and me. Yeah. No. Well, there's a surprise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's oh, coming up me. Uh, <laughs> anyone else have a dream three-way? Uh, me, my ex, my other ex. I want to unite everybody. Really? All together. Oh, and like everybody it. back in the mix. How about that? Yeah, there wouldn't be any arguing there. Mm-hmm. Peace I don't need peace. any more people to know that I have a weird penis, you know? I feel like you've already got enough who've seen it. <laughs> now, that's a, now that's out there. Mm-hmm. Wow. I would go with uh, Juliet Lewis and Lisa Loeb. Oh, well, that! Wow. Yeah. That That's is, interesting. Is, is Lisa Loeb the... Like a girl in glasses? Do yeah. You? Yeah, I do. Yeah. They, they have to keep on the glasses. Is she still alive? Ah. Yeah, she's still alive. Yeah. Is she still alive? I <laughs> what hope. The hell? I thought she was... Didn't she drown in a bathtub or something? Lisa no. Loeb? No. Oh, that's what? news to me. <laughs> she she doing commercials. Yeah. What if the glasses are rocking around and they have to wear <laughs> rec specs like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Still down. Yeah. <laughs> still down. You like him with the glasses on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a really? big fan of the glasses. Huh. Why is that? I don't know. They look like smart. Librarians. Smart. <laughs> right? It's like I tricked them because they're actually <laughs> intelligent and yet they're still having sex. So, wait, so you have the lights on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what do you on, mean baby. you have the lights you on? see what yeah. you're doing. What the hell's going on over there? Oh, I there? had a three <laughs> camera shoot. I <laughs> have, I'd get all my Simply Safe cameras in my <laughs> room. And the only shooting going on angles. is right here, baby. Yeah. A lot of coverage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are you see. doing? You're a lights off guy there, Dad? He'll never I say. Ask, 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 ask. I just don't see Oscar. <laughs> do you ever hand them like a pair of faux glasses? Uh, I've dated a lot of girls who wear glasses. Yeah. You're not getting LASIK, bitch. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. 2020, my that's, ass. That's why I said word for word. <laughs> AC. Lisa Love looks like a sweet little thing. Who am I confusing her with? I have no idea. Ask Some up. dead chick. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I know who it is. Whitney I, Houston? No, oh, no. She died in a bathtub, yeah. Lisa Loeb. <laughs> Who's, is that? Here. She's got the glasses is she like Lisa, Is she Lisa Left Eye? No. Yeah, she died. Oh, Lisa, Lisa Left Eye Lopes? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, That's a different person. Left Eye Left Eye uh, Yeah, very different. <laughs> hey, sorry. Sue me, okay? I had you no idea. I can't keep TLC track ladies? of all these people. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I can't keep track of who Jeff Hoskey wants to bang with glasses on. <laughs> I, would, I would pick Chili if I was going to pick from the uh, TLC girls. Really? Before I pick Left Eye. Yeah. Jeff, I hate to tell you this, but you like Lisa Loeb. And she wears glasses that are exactly like my dad's glasses. What? Oh, yeah. I got a thing for your dad, too. (laughs) Is it like some weird power dynamic? Why do you think think I pay (laughs) Oscar? Those are the same. Those are the same. Oh, the Ray Bans? Yeah, it's like that buddy Holly. I only have to wear glasses when I'm in here because of this uh, computer screen. Other than that, I don't wear them. But uh, those are the Ray Bans. For some reason, uh, Christy blurted out uh, something about her dream threesome this morning. I I don't really dream about that, but it was funny. Emails are pouring in. And uh, your dream threesome again is? Uh, Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom in character from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay, and that wow. led to a discussion. <laughs> Mr. Oski, we have found out, uh, likes his ladies to be wearing glasses during the most intimate moments. Um, I mean, I don't make them go get some. Like, if they're <laughs> and, on, uh, then I basket by the bed. Let's once uttered the phrase, LASIK my ass, bitch. Oh my so uh, that just tells you what he likes. Very odd. Um, and then um, you like a, an innie versus an Audi in the belly button realm? Is that sure. Yeah. And I like some uh, French, uh, what do you call that, Christy? French the... what? Ticklers? What are you talking about? No, on your nails. Oh, French manicure. <laughs> <laughs> French tickler. You, you like the French manicure? Yeah. yeah. Now, that's different than a French tickler. Oh, yeah. Although well, you... it depends oh, it on what both. she's doing with those yeah. nails. Well, I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could be tickling. <laughs> but we were, I, I had read that uh, Johnny Depp, uh, who's obviously been on the news lately because of that mm. trial, He's uh, he sometimes dresses up in that character. 
Yeah, I have a, an email here. And he and he will go to children's hospitals and and do nice things, which is which, which is kind of cool. I know. So what's your name? Amber Heard uh, goes to uh, children's hospitals and poops on the beds, which is just uh, uh, really just mean. I think. So. Well, obviously, doesn't give money to them. Hey, um, <laughs> <laughs> dear beautiful broadcasting souls. And Tom. Thank you. A friend of mine was at a bar in Florida, and Jack Sparrow, a.k.a. Johnny Depp, entered in full character, character, mingling with patrons, bought many rounds for the whole place, and never broke character. <laughs> that's a party. Well, that's a little... <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I bet Disney loves that. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Drunken Johnny on the town. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. They Steve, don't care. Do you know how much pow- money you need Johnny powder. <laughs> uh, we can actually do... We have a Johnny Depp legit news story. Yes, we do. Um, coming up. Go, do you wait. want to do it now? Are Just you all done the, over there, uh, Mr. Sports Guy? Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, we have the LeBron story. Should I do that real quick? Okay, go ahead. This is kind of exciting. Give me one second here. Maybe I can just hum a little tune for everybody. Oh, oh, he, said this, he said this on his uh, show called The Show. Mm-hmm. He has a show called The Show? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, the, shop, the, shop, the shop. shop, yeah. Here we oh, go. I was going to say. Four-time NBA champion LeBron James is ready to gamble his chips on a Las Vegas team after becoming the league's first ever active player to turn into a billionaire. Wow. I wow. want to own a team, James said in a clip from his HBO TV show, The Shop, that circulated on social media on Thursday evening. Yeah, I want a team. I want, uh, yeah, I want a team in Vegas. Yeah, I want the team in Vegas. Well, he he's, added, he's got a great grasp of vocabulary. So would, would he have yeah. to? Would he have to purchase an existing team, or would they create a new one? I'm not certain. He's uh, LeBron James. Do you think they wouldn't create a new one? Well, it would imbalance the league, though. They'd have to add, add two teams. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that wouldn't be too tough. Hmm. Yeah, that might be an interesting, interesting uh, hmm. proposition. We'll find out what happens there. And oh, uh, I guess I have to get it. Uh, uh, hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, fellas. Hi, Floyd. Hey, Floyd. Floyd. I have enjoyed your C-team program. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I can't stop thinking about Chick McGee and his gallbladder going separate ways. Yeah, yeah they'd take it out. <sighs> well, I wrote a poem that explains how I feel about it. Oh, oh that's okay. Floyd, please, please, let's hear it. Poor Chick McGee's gallbladder is gone. <laughs> we all got the news when he called on the phone. <laughs> Just because God gave it doesn't mean it's for keeps. Mm-hmm. Gallbladders are like goiters in Johnny Depp's bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Gallbladders do something, but we can't say what. <laughs> we know it's a hard surgery because they go through the butt. <laughs> and now Josh is gone fishing, and I hope it's not too late. To grab Chick's old gallbladder and use it for bait. Thank you, Floyd. That was lovely. Aww. I love it. Use the stones as a weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought we would uh, perhaps visit something from the album. Does that sound like a good idea, Pat? Do you have anything in mind that you? Was might... that on your list that I sent you? No, oh, I think it's on you. the text. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You can just yell it out and I'll do something. Okay. I'll or we could do a Beatle moment if you'd like now that the two guys that don't like it aren't here, unless Willie and Jeff object. Oh, I love the Beatles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm going to have to... I'll let, give me a second. Now, we can do Today in Beatles history. Okay. If you want to give me the Today in history music. Um, uh, I don't have it. Uh, I think we've got it around here somewhere. And the Gosky's right Jeff. There. there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Today in Beatles history... Um, what do you want to hear? Well, you've got it. We don't oh, know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any kind of Beatles history. <laughs> maybe they were in Hamburg or Ed yeah. Sullivan show. Or... I'm guessing that it has something to do with uh, England, maybe. No, you never know. These they were things smoking are... pot with Ravi Shankar over there in India. No, we got a lot. Oh, this is important. Uh, 67, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band hit number one. I like the early stuff. With with the Beatles, it spent its 29th week in the top uh, 30 in the UK in 1964. There you go. Um, and uh, the rest of this is all sad stuff. All right. Uh, so let's just move forward. So what do you got for us, Pat? Uh, early Beatles. Here we go. A little satire. I'm a boomer, baby boomer, because this year I'll be 63. I used to dial with a rotary phone. <laughs> I read a road map to get where I'm going. <laughs> I wore a tie, I don't wear any bling. When I was young, only pigs had nose rings. I'm a boomer, 
I saw Oswald shot on my TV, baby boo. <laughs> <laughs> the water that we drank was free. I took a cab, not an Uber, my friend. Didn't need an app to get a new girlfriend. <laughs> Played outside, not with video games. We built a bonfire and sang round the flames. I'm a boomer, and I hate it when they say to me, okay, boomer. So I'm a Cartney live in 83. <laughs> I think it's time for a nap now, my friend. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> that is great. I, I like that more than the original. <laughs> yeah, the original's a bit of a downer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the original's a nice melody, a little depressing. You just say, that was great, Pat. Thank yes. you. Um, and uh, let's see, in Beatles history, oh, oh um, here's a good one we missed. 63, <laughs> do you want to know a secret? Listen. Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. Remember that one? Yeah. Listen, do you want to know, know a secret? You never know how much do. Um, do you that, promise not to tell? That was written by it. Lennon and McCartney. Yeah. But Billy Harrison sang it on the original. I didn't know that. Yeah, George sang it. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I love it. I love that one. But I, I'm a boomer. I want to hear that again. I wish Josh or Chick was here to shut this down. <laughs> Man, for a little while, but it got so damn boring at the end there. <laughs> so damn boring. Oh, what yeah. Mean? Harrison wrote on I it. I taught yeah, you, you Beatles songs in the beginning. No, I know. I like the Beatles enough, but would you get you know, 10 minutes? I mean, get over it, fellas. <laughs> I'm about to initiate breakfast with the Beatles every morning here in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Drive you Sounds like it's a detective show. That's right, Ace Cosby, Private Dick. Do they still use the phrase Private Dick? No. no. His dick is private. Sometimes. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Nailed it. It's undercover. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Excuse me while I whip this out. Now, what do you say, Ace? <laughs> It's time. It's time. <laughs> when it's sexy time. It's not even time, sexy time. It's, it's just. When it's sexy time, you just say to your lady friend, it's time. It's yeah. time. Yeah. And you need the well, sexy part. I love it. It hasn't been time for a while. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> having a, well, 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 having, a, well. having what we call a Godwin moment. <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> oh. Can't be that bad. You're that bad? You're aren't that you glad, you, I aren't say, you, glad you, you came to work for us here, Pat? I say it's time. <laughs> Ace thinks you never get your little dinghy out there. Uh, are the ropes starting to burn? Is it time? Is it time for what? Yeah. Shopping? What are we doing? See, now, what we're doing is we're getting lost. Sweet, coming up, sweet. coming up, we're going to be figuring out what the big deal of the week is, courtesy of our friends at Napa. we got a lot going on here. Oh, we got a uh, message on our text line uh, from a gentleman who said uh, uh, earlier, I believe he said in February, he had a bullet removed from his abdomen, and mm. they let him keep it and bring Yikes. it home. Cool. So you... You, Did he say I, how he got it? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't inquire any further. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> what are the options? I'm uh, assuming he got shot. Well, of course. <laughs> Number one ex-wife. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see. Two. This is Tom, you jumped to conclusions. <laughs> no, that's right. He was at the store, bought he one, on it. rammed it in his ass. <laughs> 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 fell on it. it could be a domestic dispute, probably. A fight with a neighbor. A suppository. Alley fight. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Place, wrong wrong we? time. We got a lot going on here, and I don't know where I am. Oh, I know. Um, oh, I, oh, I know what I'm doing here. Uh, where I'm introducing Jeff Oskey as, and, and, and the news we failed to mention. Uh, that's right, Tom. It's that time of the week. Um, I don't know if you're aware <laughs> of this, but we're uh, we just celebrated the one year anniversary of Failed to Mention. Uh, so today I'm doing some of the greatest hits and misses. Oh, of, uh, Failed to Mention. Uh, we give you a lot of the news. We don't always give you all the news. So I'm here to give you the news that we. Failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Oskey with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> nice, nice sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> a woman has entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest collection of lip balm. What you failed to mention, that must have been one big-ass purse. <laughs> <laughs> one big-ass purse. <laughs> a, uh, let's see here. A man was arrested after shooting at aliens out of his hotel window at 3 a.m. at an Econo Lodge. Ooh. What you failed to mention uh, at sixty nine ninety nine a night, uh, that's that's what you get. <laughs> that's, you're gonna get a little gunplay. Uh, Taco Bell is now testing a taco subscription service. Customers who pay five to ten dollars for the Taco Lovers Pass can order one crunchy taco, soft taco, spicy potato, soft taco, or Doritos Loco per day for thirty days. 
through the chain's dedicated app. Wait, you failed to mention $10 for 30 straight days of diarrhea? That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> More senior citizens than ever are now smoking marijuana. What you failed to mention, hey, whatever it takes to keep the grandkids stopping by, right, Pops? <laughs> Uh, some dude somewhere set a record for pulling a vehicle for 24 hours straight. Yeah. What you failed to mention, I've never pulled a vehicle, but I've sure pushed more than my fair share out of a ditch. <laughs> out of a ditch. <laughs> from the reefer? See, you, ah. you can't focus on the road. Uh, Bono says he doesn't like the band name U2. What you failed to mention, yeah, me three. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be my closer. I, I'd end it right there. You can't. And that's been the news. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Keep going. Come on. See how you, you can recover. Go ahead. A new ultra white paint could help cool off buildings and reduce the need for air conditioning. What you failed to mention, the paint's so white that it summers in the Hamptons and spends its winters downhill skiing in Vail. <laughs> so white. A man was found dead in a locked storage locker in Boston. What you failed to mention, finally an episode of Storage Wars <laughs> worth watching. <laughs> show Storage Wars. A record-setting pumpkin was disqualified for having crack, a crack. What you failed to mention, let me guess, that was Lamar Odom's pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> Troubled man. He likes to smoke crack. <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad you made that clear. Smokes, smokes crack. Uh, Vince Neil, I don't know if you saw this, uh, Willie, but Vince Neil fell off stage and uh, broke his ribs. Yeah. Uh, what you failed to mention, I'm surprised all that fat didn't do a better job of cushioning his fall. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fat ass he's now, Willie. He's, he's fat. Mississippi voted to legalize medical marijuana. What you failed to mention, they still voted no on book learning. <laughs> no on the, no on the book learning. <laughs> An angry wife harpooned her hubby in the hog. What no. you failed to mention, are there she doesn't blow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I on that one. I mean, it's very strong. It didn't get the laugh it deserved. Uh, here we go. This one's uh, just as not good. Uh, there, a wing company has developed a wing frame robot. A, uh, what you failed to mention, uh, if we replace all the cooks and robot with robots who will call in sick 12 minutes before their shift starts. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. get high in their car or sexually harass the underage Whoa. teen hostess. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was all there. just needed to be trimmed down a little bit. And finally, there's a clown shortage. Uh, what you failed to mention, in whose opinion? <laughs> Even two clown is too many clown in my opinion. <laughs> Great. Now I'm going to start getting letters from the clowning union or the big shoe brotherhood or the sisterhood of the squirting flower. <laughs> I like that one, Band of Bozos. <laughs> and finally, a person was arrested for assaulting their spouse with a plate of spaghetti. What you failed to mention, I know it said spaghetti in the story, but that's really more spaghetti-o behavior, if you ask me. <laughs> right, I'm Jeff Oscar, and this has been the news that you failed to mention. Thank you very much, Jeff. I never realized how much I relied on those sound effects to make my jokes funny <laughs> until I didn't have them. It's like when you see a rapper without the DJ. Yeah, you know? oh, just horrible. <laughs> You're really missing the beat there. Yeah. Uh, no, you did a night time. That was very, very, very enjoyable. Nice. Now, speaking of robots, did you see this really creepy, weird yep. robot story? This is Scientists weird. from Japan have created living human skin for robots. Gross. According to Science Daily, robot skin is typically made from silicone, which can mimic human appearance. It falls short, though, when it comes to delicate textures like wrinkles and lacks skin-specific functions. This new robot skin, made with collagen and human dermal fibroblasts, fibroblasts. Mm -hmm. the resulting skin is water-repellent, offers uh, self-healing functions with the help of a collagen bandage, and allows the robotic finger to curl and stretch. So you know what this is all about. What? Robot hand jobs? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say H. I, uh, <laughs> I think we are. I think. I, 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 uh, Willie, <laughs> go wash my car. <laughs> what? So wash your mouth off. Bro, I, I was going to say. I was going to say. We're all having a good time. I know, but. Yeah, a little, little too specific. I was going to say, obviously, this must be for the. Um, 
the sex toy uh, robot industry, I would think. I would think. Um, if they can make a collagen bandage, why can't they make my skin better if they just put collagen on it? Oh, get out of here, Chris. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you guys take a break and make some more baby formula? You yeah. Jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> now your robot's going to need sunblock. I, uh, yeah. Let me ask you this, Christy. Yes, sir. If you could get a absolutely lifelike robot that looked like anybody, who would you get? Oh, God. I don't know. An absolutely lifelike, lifelike. Well, if you could get two, who would you get? Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom. <laughs> and Orlando Bloom. Yeah, we talked. It about doesn't that. have to be a sex robot. I mean, would you? Oh, just to have sitting in my house, or just what just would I do with them? Hang It'd be out. my butler. Hang out. Go have lunch. Um, <sighs> she'll have uh, the shrimp cocktail, which I'll be eating, by the way. And then oh, robots uh, don't eat. That's right. <laughs> well, how do we know? Oh, they're going to use a lot of your skin cream, apparently. Um, John Hamm would be a nice man to have around. He's oh, funny. Really? He's good looking. That'd be okay. fun. Got, yeah. the, got the hamaconda. Hamaconda. What did they call? It? Allegedly, yes. I'd go with uh, Gary Busey. That's who. <laughs> who my <laughs> Gary Busey, huh? Yeah. He yeah, seems sure. fun. Uh, apparently not. I think for like 10 bucks, he'd probably just come and stay at your house for the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even need a robot. Wreck your furniture. Uh, vomit, in your, vomit in the living room. Who would you have? What robot do you want? I don't know. I'm, I, I just, I'm just kind of curious. You want Freddy? You want Freddy from Freddy and the Dreamer? Oh, that'd be cool. Mm. Yeah. Have like a, that's a great idea. No, you're going to be doing the Freddy at home all Make day. Make it dance the whole day. Hey, Freddy, I'm bored. Can you do the song? Can you play the Freddy for me and do the dance? You could get Marty Allen, and whenever you walk in your house, oh. just, hello there. Oh, that'd be pretty oh, fun. That'll cheer you up great. in the morning, huh? Hey, Marty, Big wash my wig. car. Hello there. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, well, give that some thought. We'll review that again on Monday. Right now, we got to uh, we got to figure out the biggest deal of the week. This can be very complicated. Lots of great stories out there this week. For example, um, there was the story about the woman who was sunbathing on a beach and a wild boar came swimming into shore and attacked her. <laughs> yeah, um, on Bling Empire, they were sunning butt the other day. <laughs> wait, they were? Wait, wait, you can well, say well, that, but he can't say I that. I can't say my thing, yeah. he can say that one. <laughs> I think neither is okay. <laughs> we're going to have a meeting hey, after this. Hey, Christy, you're a sponge. I need some help washing my dad's car. <laughs> they were sunning their backsides. It was a well, you think I'm watching the show because it's so ridiculous. How did they up in the air? Is they were two, they were two ladies. They were laying on the grass, and they took their little panties off. You couldn't see anything. Talk and slowly. she, they, <laughs> they, they bent their knees, and then she goes, "All right, now lift." This is a one of these uh, yoga spare, types. Yeah, she okay. was making her aura better, and she goes, "Now lift your legs and do happy baby pose." Anybody that's done yoga has done a happy baby pose. So they. <laughs> Basically, had their legs spread up in the air toward the sun. It was yeah, hysterical. That's, that's really a bad idea. Yeah, it is a bad idea. We have, they were sunning their perineum, as we've talked about on the show before. Yes. Um, they weren't. They who's didn't the do act, it long. Who's the actor? Josh Brolin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Josh yeah, yeah. Brolin did that and, and he, got and he, quite he, a burn, didn't he? He wrote about <laughs> it um, because yeah, he got terribly sunburned. Yeah. Um, wait a minute. Here's the story. Actually, now that you mention it. Uh huh. Uh, it's called perineum sunning. Yes. Perineum is the scientific word for the taint. Mm-hmm. Anyone uh, taint? No taint, Willie? Yeah, it's in between. Yeah, taint. The, taint, the, taint, taint the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Taint the brown eye. Taint the brown Okay. Okay. Um, Jeremy Fenton, a dermatologist, said there's evidence to suggest that the genitals may be more susceptible to skin cancer than other areas of the body, so you don't want to do that. Right. And um, he said that uh, he got a terrible sunburn after trying this. This is, once again, the actor Josh Brolin, great actor. Um, this, And, of course, he got the advice from someone called Metaphysical Megan. Brolin, 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 man, his taint is swollen. If it wasn't from cornhole and raw hole. <laughs> Lube it up, get some cream, cool it down. Where's my spray raw hole? <laughs> Where's my spray? <laughs> you know what? It might have been metaphysical Megan that was on the show. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to. It's state law.